You are such an asshole! AssholeConsulting.com. I have to hold perfectly still because the laptop is on my legs and everyone's watching the Super Bowl. And lots of money was spent and children's cancer was still not cured that day. But a lot of large men with a lot of criminal records wore pink gloves and Audi says it likes women. See, so that's that's all that really matters. Uh, hello, Mr. Clary. I'm 21 and my passion is reading novels. Uh, one day I want to be a novelist. This could take decades to achieve. In the meantime, restaurant jobs and manual labor is not going to cut it. I have the intelligence to be a full-on mechanical engineer, but I fear that I will not that it will not leave me with enough time and energy to also pursue my passion. So I'm considering getting a mechanical design technology associate's degree instead. All right, so you're just a lazy fuck. Let us stop. Let us stop. You're a lazy fuck. Repeat after me. I am a lazy fuck. Right? There's a right way and a wrong way to, to going about getting your degree in college. Look, and we'll get to your true passion. But right now, just admit, because I and I and, and it's also like, yes, you may not have the time to start right. You want to be a novelist. You you just grew pubes five years ago. You want to be a novelist. That's cute. You're not gonna be a novelist. You're just not old or experienced enough. What are you gonna possibly write? I mean, you could be one of those freakishly rare people that actually has some kind of experience. I mean, if you were a war vet, maybe I'd, I'd think about that. And even one time I wrote a war vet <clears throat> um, book that he wrote, and it was horrible, absolutely horrible. Um, so here's what you're going to do, kid. You're going to admit that you're a lazy fuck right up front, and that uh, that this, what is this? Uh, Aaron's rule of the more syllables, uh, the less d valuable the degree is. A mechanical technology associate's degree instead. No, that's just you pissing away your time. Right? If you have the ability to become a mechanical engineer, go become a mechanical engineer or a civil engineer or an electrical engineer, all right? Or go to college. Now, there's going to be another way that you could come up with another. If you want to write fiction or something, there's another way. That's plan B. But right now, with your freshly found pubes, uh, and you think you know the world and you're going to be a novelist at the age of 21, all right? Uh, no, you're not. You're going to be like the rest of us fucking adults. You're going to get a real fucking job. And while you're doing that, you're not going to mail it in in this half-assed way. Well, I'm going to get my engineering management. That's that's my favorite. You're going to manage the engineers. I remember these little fucking, this little 19-year-old faggot. I'm going to become an engineering management degree. That way I don't have to learn math. I was like, yeah, all right. So, uh, no, I would not even waste your time. It's going to take you two years to go get the associates. Why the fuck don't you just become a real engineer, okay? Just put in the extra two more years, and then that will give you experience and challenges and hurdles, and it will galvanize your mind that you would become a better novelist. Um, but, 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 some people say that. This would be a lot of CAD and solid works, which you could teach yourself, but obviously less demanding than mechanical engineering. Jobs I could get with the associate's degree would be a mechanical drafter, or mechanical engineering technician, which also takes your time. It takes time. What should I do? P.S. It's important to note that due to a stupid drunken night, I have a DUI and resisting arrest on my record. <laughs> okay, <clears throat> well, there went my idea about you maybe probably working as a security guard. Um, because I'll tell you the honest truth is, I there's one field that young people who are inexperienced and just got the pubes can go and write, and that would be Fiction. So if you're going to write fiction, okay, I could see maybe you got a point. Um, but uh, uh, now that, and, and you know, th that'd be fine. But what I was going to recommend is you become a security guard because that's the perfect job for you that forces you down to write. So this advice, regardless of whether or not you become a mechanical engineer, whether you write fiction or not, whether you actually are pursuing the novelist idea, you need to find a job where you are paid to sit and do nothing. All right. Now, thankfully, you don't just have to be a security guard. Your criminal background may disqualify you from a lot of security guard positions. Uh, so you will have to look at things like, oh, overnight parking lot attendant, uh, librarian, something. I mean, I'm not discouraging you to apply for security. Certainly go ahead and see. Ask first. Say, look, I got this DUI resisting arrest record. Would that disqualify me? They'll tell you, yeah, that's going to disqualify you. So you know, you know not to apply. But find some job where you're paid to do nothing and you have permission to write. So parking lot attendant, librarian, 
over at the dorm, go be a dorm attendant. Some <clears throat> work the dog shift, work from midnight to eight, preferably 11 to seven, so you avoid rush hour and people. And that is the best way to become an author. That is hands down the best way to become an author. Now, here's the other thing about becoming an author. Uh, I know a lot of people who think, well, I don't have time for a real job. I have to become an artist of some kind. No, you put food on the table first, motherfucker, all right? Th these idiots, these fucking starving artists who think that their shit is, is gold and like that they should just be paid for their art. That's what you sound like. Well, I don't have time to be working hard or working a real job. Guess what? If you want to succeed in life, period, you're going to work a daytime job and put food and clothing and shelter on the table and support yourself. And then your hobby that hopefully will grow into an actual productive, you know, uh, 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 career would replace your, your old career of writing. Th when that makes enough money for you to get rid of your daytime job, then you do it. That is the way to do it. And I know a lot of hypocrites who think they're artists and all, and especially within my community. Well, I'm an artist. Real work is beneath me. Fuck you. Right? And I've seen them suffer. You think you're going to be sly. You think you're going to dodge. You think you're just going to write books and the money's going to come rolling in. No. No, no. Me? Even, it wasn't until three years ago that I told... I had my... Well, me, it was four. Four years ago that I had my last real job. And even then, for a year, I worked security just like, oh, gosh, I don't know if I'm going to make it. I was, I was probably... Yeah, pushing 40. I was 39 when I finally made enough money doing this that I could tell the rest of... You know, I didn't need a real job. So you're going to get a real job. You're going to go major in mechanical engineering. That way you're not going to be fucking around with, you know, getting $17 an hour as a CAD auto CAD drafter. Uh, you'll have a real career and profession. You'll have real world experience. You'll get a little bit more than your pubes. Uh, you'll, say, yeah, you'll, you'll go through an actual galvanizing experience, not getting drunk at all. Get, I'll tell you this, you getting drunk and resisting arrest will give you more life experience to write. Uh, then you're just like, well, I'm going to kind of mail it in and do it. Like, so that actually is a little bit more experience. And then when you have your job and you're working as a mechanical engineer and you're writing regularly at night, and then all of a sudden you come up with a great idea and you write a really good book, and then the book sells and it makes more than the fifty or sixty or $70,000 you make as a mechanical engineer, good. Otherwise, you're going to become the typical fucking starving artist, liberal dipshit who thinks that, it's putting their fucking shitty ass paintings over at the cigar, not the cigar lounge, the coffee lounges and Sebastian Joe's over in Minneapolis and all the other little major towns like, hey, my art's for sale, hey, and you're not making any money. Then you go and blame, and then what? Then you become the people for the people that actually make it. Oh, you sold out. You made money, you sold out. Do you want to become that guy or do you actually want to become a fucking novelist? The choice is up to you. If you want to become a novelist, do it my way. If you want to become some hack fucking dipshit emo Sylvia Plath and not even Sylvia Plath was actually successful uh, type of typical hipster douche they're all working there on their Apple computers ooh look I have an Apple computer I'm working on something that's why I have my coffee I'm such a creative person I'm working on an Apple do you not see the Apple I am so, I'm working on a playwright I am just so creative and none of us have gray hair because we're just so genius. And if people don't buy our work, that just means they don't appreciate or understand how awesome and intellectual of an artist I am. Fuck that shit. That's the other person you become. Guess who I'm voting for? And guess who doesn't go on welfare? And guess who actually is successful when it comes to being an actual author? Right. Anyway, that's all we got. Best of, best of luck to you. If you guys got questions, go to assleconsulting.com. Send them in me. I'll yell and curse at you, but you're also going to pay me money to do it. Read my books, Behind the House of Crash, Curse of the High IQ, Bachelor Pad Economics, Worthless, and Reconnaissance Man. And then we have the Clary Podcast that you can find by just searching the Clary Podcast. Toodles.